And then sometimes the author, like Night Circus, is jumping back and forth in time so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. that you have to actually write down every chapter when it occurs to figure out, you know, how old are they here? Yeah. Uh, they're 14, and then, oh, that's their mother. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. It's, I haven't read Night Circus, but um, you didn't like it much, I guess. Oh, but uh -huh. I did make a timeline for our group. But, uh -huh. no. but there are lots of books that I find are just written in such a confusing style. It's almost like... The, well, in, in a way, every book is, but the author is making a puzzle, and you have to figure it out. And I get a little tired of that uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I think, I don't yeah. want to recreate some, you know, your index, I think of them sitting there with their index cards, the various scenes they're going to yeah, make, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. and then they go, yeah. shuffle them up, and, <laughs> you know, then say, okay, I've got the book. You know, sometimes yeah. I want a story, front to back. Right. Yeah, no, I can I can it's understand that, like, because that does seem to be a very common thing with stories now, that you yeah. have two stories and you interpose them, uh -huh. and okay. they, yes, they are related to each other, and you can see that this scene is related to this other scene, mm -hmm. but, um, and I, I get that, that, that it's... It's a technique. You know, and that it emphasizes this sort of circularity of life, mm -hmm. how the same kind of story happens over and over again. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's it's all about emotions and relationships and so forth, you know, that the, mm -hmm. you know, jealous girlfriend scene happens, you know, here and then 50 years later, here it is again, or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mary's reading the... Owls of the Eastern Ice for her mm. book club, and mm -hmm. Fran thought that looked good for your book club, mm -hmm. right? It does. It looks good. My group also features a core of um, older ladies, and mm. all of whom um, like adventure <laughs> stories, and um, <clears throat> you know, uh, yeah, we're reading about the voyage of the Jeanette, you know, who right. gets caught in the ice trying to get to the North Pole and and uh, they some of them actually survive, mm -hmm. but yeah. yeah. Our lady one of our ladies is very much well one is very much smarter and one is very much wide read. Mm hmm And so we read books on the Merchant Marines. Oh. And on part of a trilogy one of which about the Midwest, one of which is called Trees, and then there's one Plains and something else, and then um, she just she likes Russian literature. Hmm. We read One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. Oh yes, yes. For our, it's a little book that it's, it's a little, little book. Yes. And then we read um, we read another one about the Gulag times. And we read Gorky's Childhood. That was one of my first suggestions, which was crazy. Gorky's Childhood. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. Russian. And this actually, this Eastern ice kind of reminds me of that, because Gorky's Childhood, the men were, you know, they drank a lot, they bopped their wives and kids on the side of the head. Uh, yeah. A really discouraging kind of thing. And this Eastern Ice, when I said the men were all met, yeah. mean, the mean, they were there's not, not all, but some of them were very mean men. And that's what it reminded me of. Wow. Okay. 